What's up guys, Brennan here, back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial for the song Another Love by Tom O'Dell. This is a highly requested video and I'm really excited to show you guys the arrangement today. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton and I love to read through all the wonderful comments that you guys leave me. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and play through the arrangement that we're learning in today's video. <laughs> over and over again. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna do this tutorial a little bit different than my other videos, just because my counting method that I usually do where I go over each note and I'm like, you hit this this many times and this this many times is not workable for this type of song. So we're gonna do it a little bit differently here. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Okay, so we're gonna start with the right hand here and then we're gonna learn the left hand then put both together. All right, so you're gonna start up here. So middle C, the middle C in the middle of the piano is right here. So you're gonna be playing up here just for reference. I'm gonna play through just the right hand alone and then I'm gonna show you how to learn it. Okay, a little tricky. So you're going to be doing a lot of two fingers at once playing together. This is the first one. So it's going to be E and G. Then you jump up here. So I usually play it with my thumb on E and my middle finger on G. And then I switch up to pointer finger here on F sharp and third finger here on A. And then the last two that you do together is G and B, which I play with my middle finger and my pinky. So I go this one, that's going to take some practice, okay, so just try that with me. You hold this one a little bit longer and then you go, so. Then you go really quickly, G, D, C. So I usually do that with my thumb on G, cross over to D, C. So try that all together. G, D, C. So you do it after this last group that you do together. So it's. 
Then you go up to another group together. So it's. So that's A and C, which I play with my pinky and my middle finger. And then you just move both down one key and you do G with your pointer finger and B with your fourth finger. So let's try this all together, nice and slow. Feel free to pause the video and practice that over and over. All right, then the next part, you're gonna have another grouping where you do two at the same time. So it's gonna be E with my thumb and G with my third finger. Then you do A on its own with your fourth finger. And then you jump down to your thumb with D and your middle finger with F sharp. So it's gonna be like this, these two together, A on its own, these two together. So just practice that. Okay, then the next part is you hit this one again. Then you go G on its own and C and E. I play C with my thumb and E with my middle finger. So just to go over that little area again, it's one more time. Okay, so all together, it's going to sound like this. From the top, I'm going to go over it nice and slow. Okay, then that entire thing repeats. So all together, it's going to be like this. Nice and slow. Feel free to pause the video and practice this a ton because I want you guys to be super comfortable with this part because it's a little tricky and it took me a while to practice it to really get the hang of it. You know when you're done when you can kind of do it automatically without really thinking about it too much. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and learn the left hand, then put both hands together. All right, now this left hand is a little bit tricky because it comes in between the right hand. So when we put both hands together, you're going to see what I mean, but I'm just going to go over the notes with you now. And if you're having trouble with it, don't worry. When we put both hands together, it's going to be a little bit easier. You're going to have this formation throughout the left hand. Um, it's going to stay the same formation. Actually, you're just moving to different keys. Okay. So this formation is going to be your pinky, point of finger, and your thumb. All right. So the first one you do is going to be pinky on E, pointer finger on B, thumb on E. And you do this one three times. So you go. Okay. Then you quickly jump up to G. So see how I'm doing the same formation, but I'm just moving. So remember to have your hands almost kind of like rigid a little bit. Because then when you move, it'll make sure that you hit the right key and you don't like accidentally hit two like that. So if you have it nice and rigid and you know where you're moving next, it's much easier. So after you do this one, you jump up here to pinky on G, pointer finger on D, and thumb on G. And you only do this once. Then you jump quickly down to this. Pinky on C, pointer finger on G, and thumb on C. And you do this one two times. So just to go over that, we start on E, B, E, three times. Jump up here really quick, down to C. Two times, okay? One, two, three, one, one, two. Try that with me. to back to this first one you did which is E 
B and E, and you do it three times again. And then the last one you do is you jump down here to this new one, we haven't done it yet, pinky on B, point your finger on F sharp, and thumb on B. And you do this three times. So you're going from here three times, tricky without that right hand in there but we're just going to go over it from the top without me talking is very similar to that other section we were doing but it is a little bit different so then you go to pinky on C pointer finger on G thumb on C and you do it three times then you jump up here to you might remember this one E B E and you quickly do this once then you jump up here to A, E, A, and you do this twice. So let's put both those together, this three times. Once, then this two times. So it sounds like this. one you were doing earlier, pinky on E, point your finger on B, thumb on E, and you do this three times, and then lastly you do this one, B, point your finger on F sharp, thumb on B, and you do this three times. Okay, so all together that second section is like this. One, together. All right, from the top, here we go. It's going to be a little bit tricky, but don't worry. The more you practice it, the easier it'll get. Okay, so starting on this one, remember? So you kind of have your hands ready where you need them. So we know that we're playing this one first. Okay, so I'm going to go over the whole thing nice and slow. First one, one, two, three, one, show you here. So you go C, G, C, G. So practice that. And you're going to repeat this pattern four times. So it goes one, repeat two, G. 
and you're gonna play it a little quicker, full speed, so it's gonna be like this. So you start counting just to keep track for yourself. You count when you're hitting this key C. So you go one, two, three, four, ending in the middle on G, okay? This is really tricky and it's gonna take a lot of practice, but don't worry, the more you do it, the easier it's gonna get. So now we're gonna put both hands together here. So the left hand is kind of coming in between the right hand parts. So it's gonna start out like this. So you come in on the left hand first with that first one. So it goes like this. So see how it's coming in between each time I move in the right hand? It's going to be like this. So it's going to be like this. Instantly move to G. To C in the right hand, you need to be playing the C in the left hand. So all together, it's going to be like this. All right, so let's go over this again. So starting here, you come in on the left hand first. Jump up to G. again the timing is a little bit tricky like I said just think of your left hand coming in between the right hand okay so from the top Second section. Okay. This is really tricky, but like I said, the more you practice this, the easier you'll eventually get it. But we're just breaking it down nice and slow so that when you play at full speed, it's going to sound like this. Okay, so let's go over this one more time just to get that timing down. And then we're going to move on to the next part here, okay? So I'm just going to go over it nice and slow and you can watch my hands here. Gonna be like this you're gonna play c and e back and forth in your right hand so it's gonna be like you're just kind of randomly playing it to match up with the keys in your left hand so it's gonna be like this so remember 
remember you do this four times. So it's gonna be like this. Okay, then you immediately go into this next part here, which is when he starts singing. So it's the... Okay, so we're gonna start with the right hand. It's gonna be like this. So that's, so that's G, 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 A, B, G. Then you go G, C, C, B, G, C, C, B. So from the top, G, 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 A, B, G, G, C, C, B. Without me talking. that's G, G, A, F sharp, and then you do, so that's F sharp, E, F sharp, G, E. So from the top, is the same. So you just repeat this whole thing. Okay, now you have a little part that's similar to what we played earlier. So you're going to be doing like this in the left hand. And in the right hand, you're going to go back and forth between E, C, practice that. Okay, then you go to the next part, which is different lyrics, but the, the keys are the same as what we just learned. So you go Okay, now the next part changes. So it's going to be like this. And then instead of going back down to G, you're actually going to stay up here. So it's going to be like this. So try that with me. G, 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 A, B, 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 C, C, B. Then you go. B, 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 A, 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 B, G. So it's. whole right hand part then we're going to put the left hand and then put both together so here we go then that repeats we get on to the on another love part we're gonna do the left hand all right so I'm gonna play through the left hand here so you're gonna start with pinky on C thumb on G then you jump up to pinky on E thumb on B then you go quick to A and C so A with your pointer finger C with your thumb, and then back to E and B. So it's going to be like this. I 
And then lastly, you're gonna keep your thumb where it is and just move your middle finger to F sharp to play the last one. And then that repeats. continues throughout the whole thing. So we're going to go ahead and put both hands together here. Okay. So it's going to start with you playing this first. So remember how the left hand goes in between. So the left hand is going to come in first before you play the right hand part. So it's going to be like this. So E and B down here come between when you move from B to G. So it's going to be like this. So see how it came in between? Then you go. When you go. Then you go. So all together it's going to be like this. changes. So you kind of hold between the B and that's when you go into the left hand part. So you go like, let's just go over this again just so I'm clear. So the next part is now you hold and then you go immediately into this. So you need to be playing the G when you hit this top C. So I'm going to show you what I mean without talking. I'm going to teach you the right hand, then we're going to put the left hand together, then do the next part, okay? So it's going to be like this in the right hand. So that's B, 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 C, B, 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 C, B. So try that. Then you go B, C, D, B, B, C. So try the whole thing. So that's B, C, D, B, B, C, B. Then that repeats. Okay. 
Then the next part goes. So it's D, 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 E, D. So you're doing the same thing you were doing down here, just on these keys. And then you go. B, C, D. B, B, C, B. So just to go over that next part, that second half, it's. Then you go. Then you cross over G. And then you go. So let's go over that whole part again. Repeat. Jump up to D. And then it goes into, so that's the part we've already learned. Okay, so you guys are doing really good here. We just have this next left hand part and then we're putting both together and then you actually have almost the entire song because then the whole thing just repeats itself. So we're almost done here. So now the left hand for this part is gonna be C on its own. Then you do groups of two. So you're gonna play pinky on G and thumb on D. Jump down to pinky on E, thumb on B. Then you jump up to B with your pinky. You jump up here to this black note, F sharp. And then lastly, you jump up to pinky on C, thumb on G. Let's try that whole thing together. C on its own. These two. Then you go to this one again, it repeats. The only thing you're not doing is playing C on its own. So then you go to this one. Just like we learned. Okay, so this is gonna repeat three times. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. So C on its own at the very beginning. Then you go. Repeat one, two, three, four. Then you jump down here and you're going to play pinky on G, middle finger on B, thumb on D. So then after you do this, then you go E, B. So all together, I'm going to play through it. So now let's put this last part together and then we're gonna I'm gonna show you the sequence of everything and then you guys have the whole song. So you start with C, then these two, so see how the left hand's kind of coming in between each time you pause in the right hand? So let's do that again. Up to D. 
let's do that last little part. back to the intro okay so now let's go over this one more time and then we're gonna put everything together all right so here we go So then, at that point, it goes back into the intro. And the whole thing basically repeats itself, same as what we learned. entire song very well done just make sure that you practice all these parts a lot so you feel really comfortable with the song I had to practice this for a while before I was able to put together the tutorial myself so just make sure that you practice this a ton and you should be good to go don't forget to subscribe to my channel helps me on a ton I love all of you guys and I love reading through your comments and hearing about the different songs that you've learned so yeah don't forget to create art and I will see you guys next time bye